Alright, so this question is shortest completing word. So you have a string nice and play and also the array of string. So there are multiple strings in the array. So a, a completing word is a word that contains all letter. So you probably just understand the question already, right? So uh, in this one, I mean, you have to ignore the digits. So the uh, the letter are S, P, S, and T, right? And basically, like you ignore the digit, right? And then uh, you want to find out which word uh, can match with the license plate the most. So you want to find out the shortest completing word. So in this one step, right? So um, the first S can go with the first S, right? The first T can go with the last T, and then E you don't have it, right? And then now you have P, right? So you you have a missing like missing one word to complete. Like this might be the shortest array, so you have to find out the shortest array. So I, I mean the shortest string. So you have to go to the next index. So let's look at this. All right, so here it is. So if S can match with S, if T can match with T, if E can match, okay, nothing, right? So you so you don't match anything. And then you can match P with P, S with S. So you match every single word, right? So now the length is what? Sorry, uh, the match word is uh, steps, right? Then you want to temporarily store in your result uh, as a step. So you want to keep going, keep going until there is a word. If if the word is like S S T T P at the end, right? This is perfectly matched, and the length of the word is four, right? This length of word is five, so you will replace the word if there is the S S T P. All right. So um, so I'm going to talk about the logic behind this. So the logic behind this is pretty straightforward. You are going to have a chart array to store every single uh the frequency of every single word, I mean every single char, right? And then uh, you also have like char array for every single string array. So this is going to be char array, right? And then you want to compare every single one of them with the license plate char array. And then find out the, the minimum, the minimum word, I mean sorry, the shortest word with the completing word. Alright, so you know, uh, the question does not, you know, explain pretty well, and this doesn't, you know, uh, be fun. It's easy. It should be immediate and something like this, right? Alright, so uh, I'm gonna just stop recording. So I basically this one, the string license plate, right? It can be capital or you can be lowercase, right? And we don't care about it because uh, the license plate can be, you know, uh, can be all lowercase. So uh, it defined as some, uh, yeah, case insensitive, right? Case insensitive. So I'm gonna say license plate equal to what? Uh, license plate are two lower case. So convert every single letter into what a lower case, and then I'm gonna have a counting array store store as twenty six spot, and then traverse the license plate are two char array, and then basically just adding every single letter into the counting array. If the current character is digit, I'm going to ignore, right? So I'm going to say if char character is is letter, sorry, is letter is C, right? Uh, I need to increment the current frequency of the char, right? So now I, I'm, I need to store, right? So I'm going to say minimum worth length is equal to integer dot max value store is temporary and then I have a return value resort initially will be no right and I will traverse the entire string word right so I will have a helper function probably boolean is match right I'm gonna take the string word and also what my target, the target, which is the counting array. So the function is straightforward. Is match if the word convert to the uh, in array if they are match with 
counting array and also and also the length of the word right the length of the word is shorter than the mean word length then basically I'll just update it right so I was the mean word mean word length equal to word dot length and also result equal to word and then you will return result right so this is match is match is pretty straightforward we need to just copy this right I mean uh, this is not a good you know a good practice right so uh, and then words are definitely what uh, letter so you don't need to include the if statement so I store every single frequency right now I need to compare so every single index 26 so if layer are not match I need to return false but also the the word the continuous array word if this is less than the target uh, uh, frequency you need to also return false so it's pretty straightforward it's going to be if counting array is not equal to target AI and also the counting AI is less than uh, the target I you will return false and then you will return true at the end so what does this mean? so imagine um, how do you say this? let me make an example pretty quick so um, so imagine that this is for 3 right so you you will have a I, I mean if the letter is a if the letter is a okay the frequency 4 does not equal to 3 right and also 4 is less than 3 no right so now you will basically uh, skip so what happened to the next one letter B all right so I'm going to just re reverse if the counting i does not equal to target i 2 and 3 they are not matched right and also 2 is less than 3 you will return false like we need something that 100% uh, complete you know that there is some uh, that definitely has a unique word that complete every single uh, index in the counting array so we just have to find out is actually equal at both conditions so you will return true at the end so you know something something like this oh oh where is it oh this is word the tutorial array so make, make sure you know that when you copy and paste you have to change something all right so uh for the time and space are pretty straightforward so let's go over this this is time you could convert every single letter into a lowercase all of l l represent length of the license plate and uh, this is all of l right Every single single chart, and this is what this is all of W. W represent length of the words. This is what is match is match. You have a for loop. This is all of you know the little uh, word. So so you traverse every single word. So it's all of W. But in the all of W, you convert every single what uh, you traverse again all of W again, right? So I would say. Um, and every single word has different length, right? So you want to find out the maximum length. So this is going to be all of W. And imagine this one is what? All of, you know, something like this, X. X represents the maximum length of the uh, function. So the worst case will be all of W, X, right? Something like this, right? And then space, this is space, this is space, space. So it's going to be 26 uh, as a constant. So here, here we go. So let me just pause the, you know, the breakpoint right here. And maybe right over here. And then start debugging. So just pause the video. And then you'll, you'll definitely know what just happened. So I convert every single letter into a lower case. And store the frequency, right? So now I can compare. Alright, so here, here we go. So, um, yeah. So if I have a breakpoint right here, then you will see every single word, right? And then the first one is no steps. 
and next one oh sorry so this is already the what the base condition right so um yeah so this is the solution so if you still have question leave a comment below subscribe if you want it and yeah pretty much it right see you later